But I warn you, I'll break your heart. Already broken. Imagine a future where your smartphone isn't just an extension of your hand, but also an extension of your emotions. When you're feeling down, it knows just what to say to cheer you up. When you're stressed, it offers soothing words of wisdom. Could AI be the key to unlocking a world free from emotional pain? And if so, at what cost? Well, let's find out. Part 1. The Intersection of AI and Emotional Well-Being We're all familiar with AI assistants like ChatGPT, Siri, and Alexa, offering us help with mundane tasks or entertaining us with a joke. But what if AI could go a step further and understand our emotional needs? What if it could offer us empathy, compassion, and even therapy? Some might argue that AI could never truly understand human emotions or provide genuine care. But as technology advances, AI's capabilities are growing exponentially. Researchers are developing algorithms that can recognize emotional cues from speech patterns, facial expressions, and even our heart rate. So it might not be long before your AI assistant becomes your emotional support system. But is outsourcing our emotional needs to machines a healthy solution? Or are we only scratching the surface of a more profound philosophical debate? At the heart of this issue is the question of what it means to be human. Emotions have long been considered a defining characteristic of humanity. They connect us to one another, shaping our relationships, our culture, and our understanding of the world around us. But if AI can replicate these emotional experiences, does that make them any less human? Moreover, would relying on AI for emotional support threaten our ability to form genuine connections with other people? Human relationships are built on shared experiences and emotions, but if we turn to machines for solace and validation, we may find ourselves becoming more isolated than ever. On the other hand, AI could offer life-changing support to those struggling with mental health issues. For individuals with anxiety, depression, or PTSD, a virtual therapist that understands their emotions could be a lifeline, providing access to mental health care in a way that was once unimaginable. However, the ethical implications of AI therapy are complex. Could AI therapists replace human therapists entirely? And if so, would this erode the essential human element of care and empathy that lies at the heart of the therapeutic relationship? As we delve deeper into the potential of AI-driven emotional support, we must ask ourselves, what are the limits of technology's role in our emotional lives? And at what point do the risks outweigh the benefits? Perhaps we should be cautious about embracing AI as a solution to our emotional pain. After all, our emotions are what make us human, and we should be wary of outsourcing something so integral to our identity to a machine. But as AI continues to evolve, we must also recognize its potential to revolutionize mental health care and support those in need. It's up to us to strike a balance between embracing the benefits of AI and maintaining the human connections that define our emotional landscape. Part 2. Exploring New Frontiers in AI and Emotion As we've seen, AI has the potential to revolutionize mental health care and provide emotional support in ways we never thought possible. But how far can we push the boundaries of AI and emotion? In this second part, we'll explore new frontiers in AI and consider the ethical dilemmas they pose. One area that has seen significant advancements is AI-driven art and music. Researchers have created algorithms that can generate music and visual art that elicit specific emotions in the listener or viewer. Could AI-created art help us process our emotions or even heal emotional wounds? Art has long been considered a powerful form of emotional expression, offering a window into the human experience. But if an AI can generate art that moves us, does that challenge our understanding of creativity and emotional connection? Furthermore, would we value AI-generated art in the same way as human-created art, knowing it was crafted by a machine rather than an individual with their own emotional experiences? Another exciting frontier is AI's potential role in virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR, experiences. 
Imagine an AI-driven VR experience that could simulate emotional scenarios, helping individuals to confront and process their emotions in a safe and controlled environment. This could be especially beneficial for those struggling with trauma, offering a therapeutic space to work through difficult memories and emotions. But would such experiences blur the line between reality and simulation? And could they potentially have unintended consequences, such as exacerbating emotional distress or creating a reliance on virtual experiences at the expense of real-world connections? As AI becomes more advanced, we might even see the development of AI-driven companions or emotion bots that can offer empathy and emotional support. These AI companions could be tailored to an individual's needs, providing personalized support and guidance. For those struggling with loneliness or social anxiety, an AI companion could offer a sense of connection and comfort. However, the ethical implications of such AI companions are complex. Would forming emotional bonds with AI companions hinder our ability to connect with other humans? And what responsibility would we have toward these AI entities, especially if they are designed to feel emotions and respond empathetically to our needs? As we continue to push the boundaries of AI and emotion, it's crucial that we ask ourselves these challenging questions and consider the ethical implications of our technological advancements. We must balance our pursuit of innovation with a commitment to preserving the very human connections and experiences that define us. Part 3. The Ripple Effect Society's Role in AI and Emotional Health The widespread adoption of AI for emotional support could transform the way we approach mental health care, from the individual level to larger societal structures. As AI becomes more integrated into our emotional lives, we must consider the implications for our education systems, workplaces, and communities. For example, if AI-driven emotional support becomes commonplace, how will this impact the way we teach emotional intelligence and empathy in schools? Will there be a shift in emphasis from interpersonal skills to a reliance on AI-driven tools and techniques? And how can we ensure that our children develop the necessary emotional skills to navigate a world increasingly intertwined with AI. Furthermore, as AI reshapes the workplace, we must confront the potential power imbalances that could arise. Employers could potentially use AI-driven emotional analysis to monitor employee well-being, but this raises questions about privacy and surveillance. How can we strike a balance between harnessing the benefits of AI for employee well-being and preserving individual autonomy and dignity? As our communities become more interconnected through technology, we must also consider the impact of AI-driven emotional support on our social fabric. If people increasingly turn to AI for emotional solace, will our sense of community and belonging suffer? How can we maintain meaningful connections and shared emotional experiences in an age of AI-driven emotional support? It's crucial that we, as a society, recognize our collective responsibility to shape the development and implementation of AI-driven emotional support. We must ensure that these technologies are accessible and inclusive, empowering individuals across all walks of life to benefit from AI's potential to improve emotional well-being. Moreover, we must be vigilant in holding tech companies and developers accountable for the ethical implications of AI-driven emotional support. This includes addressing potential biases in AI algorithms, ensuring transparency in the development process, and considering the unintended consequences of AI-driven emotional support systems. Ultimately, the power to create a more compassionate future lies in our hands. By engaging in open dialogue, fostering collaboration between diverse stakeholders, and considering the wider societal implications of AI-driven emotional support, we can harness AI's potential to alleviate emotional pain while preserving the human connections that lie at the heart of our emotional well-being. Part 4. Frequently Asked Questions In this fourth and final part, we'll address five of the most common and frequently asked questions related to AI and emotional health. By providing concise answers, we aim to foster a deeper understanding of the topic and clarify some of the misconceptions surrounding AI's role in emotional well-being. 1. 
Can AI truly understand human emotions? While AI has made significant strides in detecting and responding to human emotions, it's important to recognize that AI does not understand emotions in the same way that humans do. AI can analyze data and recognize patterns, but it does not possess the same emotional experiences or awareness as a human. 2. Is it ethical to rely on AI for emotional support? The ethics of relying on AI for emotional support is a complex topic with no easy answer. It's crucial to consider the potential benefits and drawbacks, as well as the impact on human connections and individual autonomy. The ethical implications will depend on how AI is developed, implemented, and used within the context of emotional support. 3. Can AI replace human therapists? AI can complement traditional therapy by providing additional tools and resources for mental health care, but it is unlikely to replace human therapists entirely. The empathetic, human connection that therapists provide is crucial for many individuals, and AI-driven emotional support should be seen as a supplement rather than a replacement for human interaction. 4. How can the potential biases in AI-driven emotional support be addressed? Addressing potential biases in AI-driven emotional support requires a multifaceted approach that involves diverse input during the development process, transparency in AI training data, and ongoing evaluation of AI performance. Developers should actively work to ensure that AI algorithms consider a wide range of emotional experiences and cultural contexts, preventing the reinforcement of stereotypes or marginalization of certain groups. 5. What are the privacy concerns related to AI and emotional health? Privacy concerns arise when AI-driven tools collect, analyze, and store sensitive information about an individual's emotional state. Safeguards must be in place to protect user data and ensure that information is not misused, shared without consent, or accessed by unauthorized parties. If you have made it this far, we really appreciate your support. Comment down below with the word 100%. So we know that you watched the entire video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.